Hi, today we take you along to Sandals Royal Bahamian, located in Nassau in the Bahamas. We'll show you around the resort, tell you our thoughts. As a special surprise, we were there on Bahamian Independence Day, so we'll show you some of the festivities from that. And we'll even show you some people catching crabs on the beach. So stick around, and we hope you enjoy this episode. Hi, this is Bill, and you're on the finest travel beat with Angela and Bill, your source for all things travel. Thanks for coming along on the journey with us. We visited Nassau, Bahamas on a cruise stop while we're on the Norwegian sky a couple weekends ago. It happened to be on Bahamian Independence Day, which was a real bonus, which we had no idea of. But as you'll see later in the video, uh, there was a, a lot of celebrations going on. We'll show you a lot of that, which, which was, was really a, an actual bonus. This here, you can see the lobby as you check in. This is where we went. Uh, we were there only for one day. We, uh, again, instead of doing an excursion, we took a cab from the port over to uh, Sandals. The port was jammed that day. There were five cruise ships in, and they were pretty full. So it took us a little bit of time to get a cab, but we were able to get one. Uh, the cost is about, for Angela and I, approximately 20 to 25 dollars each way and it was uh i would say a 20 minute drive pretty smooth drive so not a problem at all so as we usually do in these videos we just kind of walk you around a little bit show you the layout of the resort and i'll talk to you about you know some of our thoughts and some of our ideas and thoughts on travel in general i like to do this it kind of gives you an idea of the layout of the room uh, these areas over here are obviously were not used much during the day. Most people were out in the sun and on the sand, and we will show you the private island that they have as well. Uh, beautiful decor. Again, we weren't there long enough to really enjoy it as much, but I'm sure this area gets pretty busy. Uh, it looks like a really nice spot, a really nice bar, but again, everybody was kind of outside by the pools. Across the hall over here is a, uh, a, a game room where they have uh, had billiards. It was uh, there were people playing billiards. So uh, both uh, every time we walked through here, there were people playing it. And again, just just a real nice luxury, uh, a colonial decor, a uh, definitely a throwback, which was interesting, being that it was their Independence Day. Uh, the decor around the resort really uh, hawkened back to the British colonial days. Uh, back over to the other side, you see that's a piano bar. I'm sure at night they have piano music going. Taking you outside right from that area was one of their pools. Now, this is not really the main pool here. There is uh, There are several pools. This one it tends to be a little bit quieter. The other pool is next to it. And then there's a real quiet pool in the back corner, which uh, I, I'll, you, I'll take you along there and you'll see that in a little bit. Now, as we walk you through, if you're not familiar with Sandals, Sandals, uh, they do a lot of advertising, so I don't know how you couldn't be familiar with Sandals. But Sandals is an adult-only resort. It does focus on couples. Uh, so while you will see groups of people there, generally it's two adults per room. And again, it's adults. It's definitely a... Uh, uh, a great spot for uh, for honeymooners or special anniversaries. I'm a travel advisor, as most of you know. Angela and I do that. Uh, we send a lot of people to Sandals. Uh, it's it's a really nice resort. Uh, among a few other places that that uh, that we like, Sandals is uh, is is top notch. Now, Sandals is separated out into uh, to villages, uh, essentially different clusters of buildings. Some of them being uh, there's suites, there's club levels, butler level. They are uh, with different experiences, different types of rooms. Some of them close to the beach, some are further away from the beach. And again, they come with different amenities and uh, and even different check-in areas. But at Sandals, all of your non-wanderers, water sports are included, which is nice. Back here is the what they call the quiet pool, and this is the quiet pool. This is a little bit of a distance away from the beach. 
as you can see there's somebody there that was probably just getting in their morning swim but it's definitely a quieter area back there again you can see uh, there was a uh, a mailbox and then the, you also saw earlier the uh, the phone booth that kind of went back to the uh, to British colonial days again Now here we are back, walking back through the uh, that first pool area we showed you. Unfortunately, it being Bahamian Independence Day, they were really busy. It was on a Sunday, and uh, we were unable to get a full resort tour, including a room tour, by any of the Sandals representatives, which was really disappointing. We do hope to get back there at some point soon, and hopefully we can get that resort tour so we so we can show you some. Uh, videos of the rooms. If you've stayed at the Sandals and you have some video of the rooms, please feel free to uh, to drop it in the comments and let me know about that. I, I'd love to see it. There's certain ways of getting that to me. And along those lines, we invite you to subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. It helps us out. It costs you nothing. And you'll get notified when we do other uh, reviews of both of resorts, all inclusives, excursions, cruises. We have some upcoming stays at Disney Universal if that interests you as well, and also breaking cruise news, which there is a lot of breaking cruise news these days. Now we're walking out towards uh, the, I would say, the more happening pool area. There is a large pool, which you'll see. It's a really nice sandal sign there with the, the waterfall behind it. Uh, this is kind of where everything was going on, and again, being Bahamian Independence Day, it was it was really exciting. They had a lot of special things going on, which again, you'll see a little bit later in the video. As we walk through, just to let you know, Sandals also has a brand named Beaches. Beaches is the family-friendly version of it. They have a lot more stuff for kids to do. Uh, we're hoping to get to beaches at some point in the not too distant future to give you a little bit of either on a, a day pass or, or, uh, or hopefully a full stay. Over here, you can see there's a couple of food trucks. They have sweets. They did some uh, some breakfast stuff. This truck over here, it was a little bit early, did not open yet. I think I have some video of their offerings a little bit later in the video. But again, we're just going to kind of walk you around this area. Lots of outdoor seating, really, really comfortable couches. We sat in those a little bit later on, watched some of the ceremonies. As you can see, at this point, it was really early in the morning, and they're, they're setting up they're setting up a little floor there and some lighting. And, and like I said, it, it, it was just a great day to visit there. Lots of activities around over here. You can see they have volleyball nets. There just seem to be things going on 24-7. Uh, on Looking out here, you can see the beach area, and there's a pier there. We'll show you uh, what goes on in the pier in a little bit, but as you can see, uh, again, all the setup. They were setting up over here some food stations with some uh, Bahamian treats. You'll see that a little bit later in the video as well. There was a, a uh, bar right there with some swings in it. I like this sign, the weather sign. It's pretty cool. As you can see, also, the chair game was not really in effect when we got there. Now, this is interesting. Here is Sandals Island Ferry Boat Times. Sandals, this particular Sandals Resort, is almost like two resorts in one because there is a private island they have, or a semi-private island, that is just a very short boat ride across the, uh, the, the beautiful Bahamian waters. We'll take you across with us in a little bit, and you'll see what that is all about. The, the water was just absolutely fantastic there. It was just beautiful. The colors in the Bahamas are, are some of the best in, anywhere in the Caribbean. Also, at the end of this pier is a, uh, a lounge area. I don't know whether they serve food there at all, or if it's just, uh, just for drinks. It wasn't open when we got there. So if you've been to the resort and you know what they have going on there, drop in the comments below. We'd love to hear it. And along those lines, if you stayed at any Sandals resorts, uh, also let us know uh, in the comments whether you liked it, which you thought could have been improved, and, and your thoughts on the value. Uh, that's what we're all about, is trying to find the best vacation value possible for people. 
Here is a little uh, little panning back on the entire Sandals Resort there, you can see. A couple of larger buildings there. Like I said, it's a, definitely a, a village concept where you have larger buildings and then you also have some smaller ones toward, towards the back a, a little way from the beach. And again, just to kind of give you some scale on things. There's a catamaran that takes you back and forth from the main resort to their uh, their private island. Uh, it's a little interesting. They want you to take your shoes off to get uh, on and off when you're on the ship. I guess they don't want it to get uh, too slippery or dirty. Uh, there's a couple of steps you got to walk down to get into it and out of it. But the workers are great. Even people that were... Uh, a little more uh, handicapped or uh, limited mobility. Uh, they helped just pull them right up to the dock, so it was no issue at all. Uh, here we are getting off the dock. We are uh, on the private island now. It's a private island, but it's not a private island. There's half of it that's also used for uh, cruise ship uh, excursions. My apologies for the shaky footage. I took it uh, using a GoPro that wasn't stabilized, and I was trying to balance a whole bunch of crap in my arms as well. So uh, multitasking, probably not my strongest suit, but I, I wanted to leave the footage in just to give you a little idea of what the area looked like back here. I promise it'll be back to normal in a couple of seconds. But on this island, there is a pool. There is a little swim-up bar. There's a nice little, uh, little fountain in the back there. Plenty of seating. There is a beach on both sides. One is on the, uh, the harbor side, I guess you would call it, which is uh, where the... The boat came in, and then the other beach is over on this side with some chairs. Um, it's also like a little bit of a cove there, um, but that is more on the uh, the Caribbean side, a little bit less protected. Uh, both were pretty seemed pretty fine for swimming, although more people were swimming over on the uh, the cove side. Again, over here, this is a, a picture of the pier and the uh, the beach by the harbor. On the far side there is a part that the cruise ships uh, dock into. Uh, just to make note also, the uh, the shuttles, the boat shuttles, go about every hour back and forth. But they do take a break for lunch in the afternoon. So um, definitely check the times on the board and ask the people on the, uh, the shuttle boats what times they are running from. And here we have just a little taste of the water over on the beach on their private island, or semi-private island, uh, on the harbor side. We didn't spend a whole lot of time in the private island. Uh, we were on a little bit of a tight schedule and wanted to get back to the main part of the resort to check out some of the festivities over there. We did not eat, but although they do have a restaurant that served lunch there. Again, it's a, a pretty short uh, boat ride back, uh, five to ten minutes, I would say, at tops. And uh, it's very pleasant. Water's nice and calm, so, so no issues there whatsoever. Back in the main area of the resort, uh, another view of the beach area here, which is really nice, uh, very calm. Uh, not too crowded. They, uh, all the public beaches in Nassau are all public, so vendors can go on the beaches, but due to the location... They really don't come over here because it's hard to, hard to get in. It's kind of rung by resorts. There was like maybe two vendors, and they were not bad at all that were uh, on the beach. As you can see, a volleyball net. There's beach volleyball. Uh, swim up bar. And uh, if you're enjoying this content, uh, please give it a like. Uh, let us know your thoughts on Sandals Resorts, whether it be uh, for a day pass someplace or for a visit. Uh, we'd love to hear your feedback, your thoughts, and comments. Uh, also, if you're enjoying this, uh, this this content, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel out, costs you nothing, and you'll get updated every time we post something new on a cruise destination, all-inclusive resort, uh, excursion, Disney Universal, uh, and more, most importantly these days, travel news. Now here's something you don't see every day. People under 18 years old at a Sandals Resort. Uh, we saw a couple walking around there earlier. We were kind of surprised. What we have here is the local Nassau High School Marching Band that were there to take part of the Bahamian Independence Day festivities. They, they were really good. They performed for us about a half an hour. It was really enjoyable. It was really cool to be part of the experience. 
Uh, it's their July 4th, and uh, their independence is much more recent than ours. Uh, it's, uh, 45 years, I believe it was. So we definitely enjoyed that. And I, out of, out of respect for the Bahamians, I am going to stop narrating while they performed their national anthem. And we hope you enjoy this little clip. <laughs> The festivities seem to be going on all day with dancing and singing along and a, and a lot of things. But uh, right after the, the band stopped playing, they served some local Bahamian food at uh, these food carts that set up like on the uh, right near the beach or right by the boardwalk of the beach. They had a uh, conch or conch. Uh, they were serving drinks in coconuts. We using the machete, chopping the top of them, the coconuts off and serving drinks in them. Uh, the food was very good from what we tried. Uh, they also have a, a little food truck over here that's there every day that serves uh, conch fritters and pulled pork salad, fish tacos, things like that. Plenty of food options. Now, this is something that was very unusual, and I te teased it earlier about catching crabs at sandals. Well, you can catch crabs at sandals, at least on Bahamian Independence Day. I don't know if this is any, something they did every day, but they set down a little bit of a, a floor, and they put some crabs down. And as you see, people uh, gingerly decided they were going to try to catch the crabs. It was uh, definitely an unusual experience. Uh, a lot of people did not want a part of it. Um, it seemed the more people drank, the more they were giving a shot. And there we go, and a couple of people decided to catch the crabs. Uh, I don't believe any crabs were injured or any human beings lost fingers in this exercise. But it was kind of fun to watch. Uh, me and Angela just watched from afar because... Not really our cup of tea. Again, being that we weren't able to get a tour due to the holiday and the fact that we were there only on a day pass, we really didn't get to sample everything that we would have liked. There was a lot of restaurants, a lot of bars. This particular one over here was a great option if it started raining. They had a big bar area inside that people could, could make their way into. Uh, we definitely hope to get back to this resort again. It really seemed like it was, was fun, a lot going on. Um... The food that we had was good. The service was great. The uh, the the drinks were nice and cold and plentiful. So we, we definitely enjoyed it. We are probably going to just show you a little bit more and then uh, then end the video. And again, uh, if you're enjoying this, please give it a like. It gives me feedback or it gives us feedback and lets us know whether you're enjoying this or not. Before we wrap up, we'll show you a little bit of the gift shop, which is two floors and probably the nicest gift shop we've seen in an all-inclusive resort yet. Uh, this Angela and I, one of the things we love doing is checking out the, the gift shops. Uh, we usually don't buy a whole lot, but we definitely like checking out the tchotchkes, get our uh, souvenir items, whether it be back. We usually get Christmas ornament from every place we go, something for the wall. But as you can see, they had plenty of stuff. Uh, none of the stuff in here was, was really homemade, but they had plenty of sandals-related logo gear, uh, local merchandise. They had cigars. They had a pretty uh, good area where you could get, even though food and drinks are included here, if there was something that wasn't on the menu that you were looking for. They had a little shop here. They also had some liquors, rum cakes, which is the big one in the Caribbean, and, uh, and some other things. Uh, like I said, I'm not really sure why you would get a can of Pepsi where you had an all-inclusive resort that includes drinks, but it's there if you wanted it. So again, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. We are definitely going to be going back to this resort again uh, as time and finances uh, allow. Next time, hopefully, we'll get a, a tour where we can show you some of the rooms as well. In closing, as a day pass, it was 
expensive. The rates vary, so I'm not going to give the exact rates to you, but uh, it is it is something that's not cheap. So again, we appreciate if you like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends. Helps us out. Helps us to be able to do these things or spend the money on these things, knowing that we're doing the right thing by our viewers. Again, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. The support has been phenomenal. And until next time, Angela and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye-bye, everybody.